Hi there and welcome to Otherly Wine. In this video, I will try two entry-level Sancerre, i.e. French Sauvignon Blanc. These uh, two bottles come from the same village, Sancerre, uh, are from the same vintage, 2019, but them at the same grocery store at the same price. So my goal here is to try uh, both of them, see uh, which one I like better, and go back and, and buy more. If we talk a little more about Sauvignon Blanc, so Sauvignon Blanc is a grape that has been made famous by a French winemaker in the region of Bordeaux, uh, where it's often blended with Muscadelle or Sémillon, and from uh, some villages in the Loire Valley, Puy Fumé and Sancerre. Sauvignon Blanc, uh, it doesn't have typical neutral grape flavors such as Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio. It's a grape that is very characteristic and is known for greener and herbaceous flavors. For instance, because of these uh, herbaceous flavor and really high acidity, you can pair um, Sauvignon Blanc with creamy or zesty sauce and it pairs great with fish. Uh, Sancerre wines and Sauvignon Blanc wine in general uh, should be drunk young. So Sauvignon Blanc is one of the most plenty grapes in the world and as it's widely planted it's come in many different styles. The two big producers are France and New Zealand. In New Zealand now 70% of all the white wines are made out of Sauvignon Blanc and the huge majority of it comes from the Marlborough region. In in New Zealand, the winemaking style is focused on citrus, stone fruit, and tropical fruit flavors. They uh, ferment the wine at a lower temperature than French producer, for instance, and that allows them to really focus on the fruit and uh, get aromas and flavor from grapefruit, passion fruit, and sometimes peach, alongside with uh, bell pepper and asparagus. Wines there sell in the $10 to $20 range. In France, in Sancerre and Puy Fumé on the eastern side of the Loire Valley, the wines have uh, flavors of apple, grass, and they have some similarity to it, such as whetstones. Most Sancerre and Puy Fumé wine sells in the $20 to $35 range, but for a really good uh, Sancerre or Puy Fumé or French Sauvignon Blanc, you will have to pay more than $40 as these two Sancerre are uh, at $17, if they are delivered, it is quite a steal. Uh, of course, at that price point, uh, I don't expect them to be as complex as one at $40, and especially as a winemaker probably didn't use oak at all to ferment or mature the wine. If you want a wine with more peps and body, you can also try Sauvignon Blanc from the Bordeaux region, as I mentioned, they blend it with other grapes that give them more, more body and, and more peps. So uh, if you like Sauvignon Blanc and we want to try something new, uh, let's, let's see what we have here. So the, the first one here is uh, so from Sancerre 2019. The producer is Laurent Reverdy, and uh, we'll test this one first. So from a, a color perspective, uh, the color is uh, it's a light it's light colored it's has a typical straw or lemon intensity to it and it's uh, explained it because the fact that it's one sauvignon blanc and two it, it's a young wine so on the nose yeah some uh, some intensity on the nose i would say a medium plus intensity then you have typical flavors of lemon and some, some, some herbaceousness to it. So nothing really complex here. There is no like secondary or, or tertiary aromas from, from oak or, or, or maturation. Again, young wine. And uh, yeah, it kind of smells like a typical simple white wine. So let's try it. Wow. So on, on, on the palate, it's, it's a pretty powerful wine, I would say, medium plus intensity. Uh, acidity is quite high, my mouth is uh, quite salivating right now. 
Uh, it has the same like typical uh, flavors of uh, of lemon and and some her herbaceousness uh, on, on the finish. Alcohol is surprisingly uh, I, I get a little heat out of it, so I would say medium plus alcohol. And uh, and as expected, is a it's a light bodied wine, but has as quite some some peps to it. And uh, the the finish, the, the finish is not that short for 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 wine at that point. I, I would probably have expected a, a little shorter finish. So overall, uh, pretty good wine, quite balanced. Even if I I feel the the alcohol a little bit, uh, very characteristic cold flavors of uh, lemon, some grapefruit. Uh, a preciousness uh, to it, so simple flavor, nothing, nothing really complex, and a decent finish. So I, I would qualify that as a as a good wine. So if we move on to the second wine we have here, so it's uh, from La Bovise and it's called Les Trois Terroirs, again Sancerre 2019. So let's check it out. So from a, a color uh, perspective, uh, same thing. It's a uh, light intensity color, lemon straw. So nothing unexpected here. From a, an aroma perspective, I would say it's a lighter intensity than this one for sure. So I would say it's a light intensity on, on the nose. And the, the flavors are quite different. So here it's yeah really lemon and herbaceousness. Uh, on, on this one, I don't really get any herbaceousness to it. I get more like a pear and, and grapefruit, and it is really subtle. So the, the wine doesn't 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 give me much here. Wow, again on, on this one on the palate, like the the palate is way more powerful. The flavors are way more powerful than than the nose. So I would say medium, medium plus intensity. And again, a really, really high acidity wine, uh, still light bodied, very way smoother from an alcohol perspective. I don't get any heat, so I would say medium, uh, medium minus on, on the alcohol. And yeah, the wine is very powerful and the, the finish is quite long. The finish I think is longer than on, on this one. And even if on the nose, I didn't get any, um, any herbaceousness, which are so typical of Sauvignon Blanc, on the palate, like the, the finish, so the, the, the finish of the wine, the end, uh, the end of the wine, and more towards the mid palate and the end, I get a lot of herbaceousness, but it's a, it's a not a typical Sauvignon Blanc herbaceousness. So it's kind of more of a grassy, woodsy, I would say more woodsy than grassy. I would say, probably I would say that it's a hay maybe. And so it's, it's smooth, you, you have the fruit first, and then yeah, you have these, uh, these hay, like cut, which started to dry hay, who, who, comes, uh, who comes in the end. So overall, it's a really uh, balanced wine. Um, the flavors are a little more complex than this one because of the, the grapefruitiness, I think it's more, more intense, more pronounced, and, and you get these... Uh, not expected herbaceousness and power of the wine. So there is some intensity, some, some different uh, characteristics, some more complexity and, and, and a long finish. So overall, it's a, it's, a, it's a good wine. I would not say it's a very good wine, but I would say it's a, it's a good one and probably uh, slightly uh, better than, than this one to, to my taste. So if I, I compare the two, I would say that, yeah, this one is kind of a, typical entry-level white wine, not even talking about Sauvignon Blanc. So you have the typical lemon, some, some uh, power, powerful taste, which uh, usually as a, as a French wine, I like something, something more, more subtle, but, uh, but good wine overall. And, and this one, there is more flavor that I'm, I'm not used to. I'm, I didn't expect like this hair flavor. And overall, I think it's a little more balanced. Both are balanced, but this one is a little more balanced and a little bit more pleasant on the palate with, with some complexity to it. So I think I would, uh, I would, choose, uh, I would choose this wine. So La Bovise, uh, Les Trois Terroirs. 
So uh, the goal of uh, this video was to decide which one I prefer to, to go back to the store or probably go back to the store and, and grab some bottle. And I advise you to do the same. So if, if you want to, to try new wines, but you don't want to commit to buy lots of bottles because you don't know if you like it, I, I, that's what I usually do. I buy bottles, even if I want to compare, especially at the exact same wine, exact same price or exact same village. You just buy a bottle, quickly drink it, and go back to the store and, and grab more. And uh, I would advise you not to wait. So what I experienced since I'm, I'm buying wine, especially if you buy wine not from California, from other country in the world, all the big chain, so uh, the wine chain, but also the grocery store chain, what they do usually, they, streak, they strike some good deals with uh, producer or importers, and they buy a big amount of wine that you will only find for a limited amount of time. It's not a one that will carry over and over again, the big national brands. It's, it's basically a one that can offer you at a really good price like this one, because basically they had a one-time opportunity. And so as soon as the stock is gone, you will probably never find this one again. That's it for uh, this video on entry-level Sancerre. I hope you learned some stuff about Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, as usual, don't hesitate to let me know what is your favorite Sauvignon Blanc. Is it from New Zealand? Uh, do you have a very good Sauvignon Blanc from California? In my other video uh, about Santa Barbara, I have another really good California Sauvignon Blanc au natural from Brander that I really like, for instance. So let me know what is your favorite Sauvignon Blanc, what is your favorite winery, what is your favorite wine varietal. Uh, you can also leave a comment or subscribe to this channel. And if you're interested in, in wine, learning more about wine, wine classes, uh, attending a wine tasting, or uh, trying to build a wine connection, collection, you can refer to my page, uh, Auto Wine, on Facebook. And to finish and conclude, as usual, enjoy your wines, but drink responsibly. Cheers!